Find the reduced row echelon form and the rank of these matrices. So let's start with A. This is a 3 by 4. So that means this is 3 rows, 4 columns. And all the entries are 4. So 4, 4, 4, 4. 4, 4, 4, 4. All 4s. Okay, this is the matrix. So, uh, to make it reduced row echelon form, the first step is we divide row 1 by 4. And if we do that, let me use uh, copy and paste here to go quick. Uh, actually, I'll just do this. So then I will get 1, 1. One one and now I could do okay let me tell you what the conditions are for the reduced row at column form okay condition number one uh, in a row, uh, if every entry is zero in any row, that row has to be at the very bottom. Okay? The last row. That's condition number one. Now, the leftmost non-zero entry of the row has to be one. So, uh, if, if you have... Uh, for example, zero one zero zero. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, uh, yeah, but I haven't I haven't done it yet. I'm just telling you the conditions. All right. So. And then, uh, the leftmost non-zero entry. is the only non-zero entry in that column. So above it and below it has to be zero. Okay, so the leftmost non-zero, okay. These are the conditions. For a reduced row at column form. In other words, in order, so I'll get you started on this question to satisfy that the leftmost entry of any row has to equal one. First row is made of four, 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 four. You need to make the first four a one by row operations. So your first objective is to make a11 a1 now how do you do that okay the next step is to make this guy here a zero this thing is slow ah annoys me okay so this is row three times minus one plus row two and let's see what that does ah oh, this pad is just getting stuck okay uh, so that would make uh, the middle row zeros so let me copy and paste this here Okay, and so I have to erase this middle guy here. And when I do that, I will get 0, 0, 0, 0. And now I need to make this guy here a 0. 
and for that I have to multiply row 1 by minus 4 and add it to row 3 and if I do that I will get on the third one I will get zero 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 because they're all minus fours add them to four I get zero 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 okay so that means there's only one pivot in the first column because all the remaining three columns are just the same exact thing as the first column so they're they're dependent on the first column so that means I have one pivot in the first column and uh, that means uh, this is my R final and the the rank of the matrix is equal to the number of pivots um, and uh, since there's only one pivot which is this the rank has to be one so this does it for part a okay for part B we have an equation that defines what the cells of this matrix will be or the entries a i j i plus j minus one so let's write it here so we have a i j equal i plus j minus one okay so what will our matrix be then our matrix will be for a one one i is the row j is the column so the first element would be i'll just do one here so you could see how to do this uh, so I is 1, J is 1, minus 1, so this gets me 1. So that means the first one is 1. The second one, uh, I will have 1, 2, so 3 minus 1, this will be 2. Uh, then uh, 3, uh, uh, 1, 3, so 4 minus 1, 3, and uh, 1, 4, so 5 minus 1, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now uh, notice that they just add 1 to each one of these. So that means my second row will be, so now A, 2, 1. So 2, 1 will be 3 minus 1, 2. And this will be 3. And this will be 4. And this will be 5. And then I could do the same thing here. Now I'm A, 3, 1. 4 minus 1, 3. 4, 5, 6. So this is my matrix uh -huh. and now I need a zero on this guy here so that means row number one times minus two plus row two and if I do that I will get let me copy and paste Okay, minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Uh, minus 1. Minus 3 plus 4 is uh, uh, minus, uh, I mean, minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. And minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3. And I might as well do the last step here too. This is minus 3 times row 1 because my objective now is to make this a 0 so plus row 3 so if I change this all in one stop this will be 0 minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4 and minus 12 plus 6 is minus 6 okay good so now I have this guy here now my second objective is to make this guy here a 1 so the way I could do that I can multiply row 2 by minus 1 and let me again copy and paste this 
so I'm gonna change the middle row so if I divide if I multiply here by minus 1 just flip the signs on the middle row so 0 1 2 3 I might as well do the last step as well uh, so I could multiply Uh, row 2 times 2 so I need to make this guy a 0 and add it to row 3 and if I do that now notice that the third row row is just uh, a multiple of the second row so what will happen is it'll turn it all to zeros so if I do that operation here uh, so let me erase these so uh, I'll stay in black here okay so 0 uh, 0 minus 2 plus 2 uh, 4 minus 4 is 0 and as expected 6 minus 6 is 0 so I get uh, this matrix here Okay, now I need to make this guy a zero. Let's change color. Uh, so that means I multiply row two by minus two. Uh, oops, sorry, this has to happen up there. Let me take it up here. Uh, row 2 by minus 2 and add it to row 1 and if I do that the first row I will get 1 minus 2 plus 2 is 0 minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 and minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 so this uh, uh, that is it uh, because once I try to change notice that if I try to change this uh, it doesn't work this is as far as an I can go with this simplification so that means uh, we have two pivots here uh, we have two uh, variable columns we have uh, a pivot on the first column and we have a pivot on the second column and this would be my reduced form so that means the rank of this matrix has to equal two. And that should do it now for part C I also have an equation uh, where a i j is minus 1 to the j so for example if I'm trying to find a 1 1 this will be minus 1 raised to the 1 because j is 1 so that gets me minus 1 okay and so my matrix will be I'll just do the rest here so uh, you get the idea hopefully so uh, this will be minus 1 now I'm on the second column so J will be 2 so minus 1 squared is 1 and this will be minus 1. Note this one, it's odd. It'll be minus 1 because you raise minus 1 to an odd, you get minus 1. When it's even, you get 1. Because you raise minus 1 to, to an even number, you get 1. Okay, um, now uh, these will all be the same because this is only dependent on the column, not on the row. So it doesn't matter which row I'm in. 
I will still get minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. And uh, same thing here, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. So this is my matrix. And the first step, of course, is to make this guy here a 1. So I could multiply row 1 uh, by minus 1 or divided by minus 1, whatever you like. Uh, so then this matrix becomes, let me rewrite it. I just switch the signs basically, yeah? So, so I will get plus minus plus minus. Now, to make this a zero, all I have to do is add row one plus row two. And to make this one a zero, I add row one plus row three. And if I do that, notice that all these rows are dependent on each other. So, a second. Uh, so basically I will get 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and then zeros on the rest and that's as far as I can go uh, so in this case notice that column number 2 is negative column number 1 column number 3 is equal column number 1 and column number um, uh, four is negative column number one so that means there's only there's three variable columns here and therefore there's only one pivot on the first row which is this so that means uh, so this is the reduced form and the rank of this matrix will be one that does it for this question